Hey guys, welcome back to another Legend of Zelda video. I'll be testing out the Citra emulator, which is a Nintendo 3DS emulator. If you don't know, I'll be playing Ocarina of Time 3D. Um, this is the nightly build version, and it just came out today. Well, at least this version I'm playing it now. Uh, today's date is January 19th of 2017 when I've done this, so there's going to be some improvements. I'm going to see how the layout is and uh, just improve from there. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, this the last time I played a Zelda game, I say it was about six years ago, so uh, uh, it's going to be a little bit difficult to actually play this on my PC as well, so I have to get used to controls, so I have not uh, tried this game out yet. Alright, so it's saved complete. Let's go ahead and jump in as you see the date here. And yes, I am doing this at 2.30 in the morning. <laughs> if this actually turns out fine, I might do a walk th walkthrough. I tried finding a way to hook up my 3DS to my PC. If you guys wanted, yes, I do own uh, Ocarina of Time myself, so I wanted to test it out uh, using this emulator to see how well it goes. Let me know in the comments below if you actually want me to do 100% walkthrough of this game. Uh, like I said, last time I did a walkthrough for this game was back in 2011. It wasn't that great because there was no capture cards at the time, webcam and all that. So I didn't bother re-uploading that. Uh, I definitely don't want to just because the audio is just bad. As at the time, same with the uh, video audio as well. So I have to use my keyboard for the, for uh, this game. I tried to use a controller and had no luck of it registering. Let me see if I can skip some of this. It doesn't seem like I'm dipping uh, in the frames department. It seems to be steady. I mean, look at it, it's still smooth, so that's a good sign. So what I'm going to do is play up to the Great Deku Tree. Most people pronounce it Deku. I'm, I just have always grown up uh, saying Deku, so I'm just going to continue saying Deku. As everyone has their own way of pronouncing things. It looks like we are able to move. Like I said, I'll be using my keyboard. It's going to be a little bit weird trying to get used to this. I'm definitely going to find a way to use a controller. I try to use like a 360 or something like that. Um, I might have to use a third party software. I don't know. I might have to just remap it and see. But it's going to definitely be kind of hard to play with that keyboard. Um, let's see. You can see some uh, graphical which is uh, typical, like they had a Nintendo 64 version, they had that in the menus as well. Uh, you, can see, you can see it through here, it's just basic, but it's not bad, as long as the game runs properly and uh, everything looks fine, it should not matter really at all. As long as the menus, of course. Hakuri Forest. Bye. 
Looks like a little dip there, maybe about 55 FPS in that one. I don't have my FPS counter on this time. Uh, I tried doing a little bit of test, but I noticed if um, we're recording software, if it, you know, hooks into the software, it loses about 8 FPS. So I'm trying to record just the screen and see how it goes. Guys, what, what I'm using at this moment, I usually don't use uh, this program anymore, but it's Bandicam for screen uh, capture. I might actually have to try like OBS or something like that sometime on this. Maybe I can live stream it, get it all set up. I don't know. It's just all what ifs. So let's go ahead and get ourselves our uh, puckery sword, get some money as well, need some rupees, fire shield. No, go away, Navi. Okay, what point? Oh, come on. I said, come on, go on. There we go. It's like, come on. <laughs> Can't get in there. Yeah, since I'm using the keyboard and all that, I don't think there's going to be any, like, motion. So I can't just move my 3DS. Like I said, uh, like, it's like $200, 250 just to have a capture card installed. Um, and then, uh, be able to record. I mean, that would be the best option to do that than the emulator. Uh, but the emulator will give you a higher quality and all that. Another option would be, um, I would actually have to get the new 3DS. I only have the original 3DS. And, well, the XL version. Alright, um, like I was saying, definitely would need the new, uh, the new Nintendo 3DS. Like, I pretty much looked into options like that. If you guys are wondering, uh, like the new 3DS, there's actually a custom, uh, software, basically, firmware that allows you to, uh, stream your 3DS, or like what you see on your monitor and all that, or your 3DS, to your PC. And I was like, oh, that, that's. That's a nice way to go about it. But uh, that means I have to buy the Nintendo 3DS. I don't see the point of doing that. Since I own that in uh, the XL, XL, XL version. Okay, there I go. I can't talk already. <laughs> oh, he's got to go through those Tuntine moments. But yeah, I got I got to get used to that. Camera and all that. It's all learning experience. I got 24 rupees. I can't remember which house it was. Was it this one that had the extra rupees? Now we got some pots here. Thank you. Get out of here, I got 30 rupees now. 10 more. You know what, I did not equip the sword. There we go. It makes a weird noise when I do that. Yeah, this is definitely going to be a little bit difficult. Like, if I did a 100% walkthrough on this, just playing this with a keyboard and all that, when it comes to aiming, definitely would need to get used to uh, even playing this game like that. But yeah, so far what, I'm pl uh, what I've played so far of this, uh, the emulator looks fantastic. I have the native resolution set to like four times so but you can set it to auto and all that this is like I said it's still an improvement it's a nightly build so there's definitely gonna be things like bugs and future fixes but like I said if you're watching this in the future I definitely don't want to buy anything go ahead and um, check out their new version and see uh, from there uh, we're going to my gear just here we go Let's go ahead and talk to Dick Face here. There we 
go. Thank you, dick face. Goodbye. The DQ stick. Okay, so it's that one. Wow, that's gonna be a little bit difficult to get used to. Holding the Q button and then hitting the S button just to swing. Be new hard. Sure. Nice. Inside the Great DQ Trick. Alright guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end this here. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, this is just pretty much a test of the Citra emulator. Um, it seemed like it played a lot smoother this time. And, uh, we'll see from there. Like I said, if you guys want me to do 100% walkthrough, it's been about six years, but I pretty much remember this game, where everything's at anyways. And, uh, we will go ahead and go about that, but I definitely need to figure out how to get my controller working. And, uh, see from there, because this game, playing on the keyboard, is going to be a challenge. <laughs> but it is possible, this game, the emulator and all that, seems to work fantastic. I haven't dipped. Uh, below 60 a couple of times that seem to do so. If you guys want to know what my PC spec are, they're always in the description below. Anyways guys, thank you for watching. Hope to see you on my future videos. Remember to check out my playlist. Hope to see you in my future videos. Until then, see you guys later. Bye.